Hello, welcome to the uh, war zone, as I'm now calling it, and that's based more on the uh, the uh, mess of the situation, also the fact that this is a World War II layout, but uh, every time anybody comes down here, they always call it a war zone because of the, the working conditions that I have. Anyhow, today we're going to do some, some more landscaping. We're using uh, foam, and um, we're going to be using some spray foam as well, so uh, the the pink foam that you see in the middle here is going to be our elevated base. We're going to be making a farm, kind of scenic farm area here. And uh, starting out we're using the No More Nails uh, obviously to glue down uh, the insulation foam. And um, the other product that we're going to use is this wonderful stuff, this great stuff. Insulating foam. It uh, fills up cracks and uh, also uh, expands as it dries. So, uh, as you see, the pink foam is here and it's got some straight edges, 90 degrees, etc. And what we're going to want to do is smooth that out because we're going to lay plaster cloth over this whole thing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this spray foam and spray it into all of the areas where I think that uh, it needs a more of a gradual slope. And that will allow the uh, plaster cloth, when this dries, to go over this in more of a rounded fashion. It also allows me to make some irregular um, formations as well, giving it a little bit more body, more roundedness, because this stuff as it dries, it'll expand. And when I lay the plaster cloth over this, it's going to um, have a smooth kind of rounded look. The stuff dries hard as concrete, so it's, it's great to use. And we've used it uh, on the mountain elsewhere, but uh, this is the first time I've used it on this kind of a scale. Uh, as you see, it's, it's going to be used for this whole area all the way around and we're going to fill in all the crevices and the gaps making sure that we don't put too much of it down because what you don't want to have is anything that's going to be uh, sticking up and cause the plaster to jut out so as you can see even around here on this uh, section I'm going to put some around here to round out these edges places where you know it, it was uh, it, it was really a, a very flat surface, flat edges. You got to give it some some rounded shape. This stuff works perfectly for that. And you can jut it out, as I said, to give your your landscaping a little bit more mass. And there we go. Kind of messy, but anyhow, it looks a bit messy right now. And uh, just before it starts to dry, once I finish, I'll take a, like a little spatula to this and push everything down. Um, just to depress a little bit of the uh, of the body shape, but other than that, it's pretty simple. Just continue continue to do this all the way around the entire structure, and as we fill this in and give it shape, we'll wait for it to dry 24 hours, let it go hard as rock, and then once that's finished, we're going to take the next step, which is we're going to put plaster cloth over this entire uh, formation and smooth out all the plaster uh, on the cloth, smooth it down. And then we'll be able to uh, to landscape this and kind of make it our, our farm, um, scenic farm area that, that, that I'm envisioning. Okay, so with that, I will uh, continue to do this. And the next video you see, um, we'll hopefully be placing down uh, plaster cloth. So, talk to you later.